Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Lipsy. Uh, thanks for checking out the video. This video is actually like part of Lucky Dipsy, which is like a Lucky Dip series I was doing, uh, where I just randomly pick a game, and this is the one I randomly picked. It's um, The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. Like, I've never, I've heard of this game, but I've never played it or seen it before, so um, I thought I might as well just jump straight in with no idea of what's going on or what it's about really but uh yeah the menu seems to be super pretty um so i'm imagining this game's gonna look cool um all i know sort of is like something to do with finding ethan carter i guess <laughs> like um, yeah something like that let's see so i have absolutely no idea of w what to do in this game or anything like that i probably should have read a tutorial or something along those lines but uh we're just gonna jump into it and see if i can uh, pick it up as i go along Start new game. The game is a narrative experience that does not hold your hand. Shit, I need it to hold my hand. God damn. Ethan Carter I didn't know. But he knew who I was. When the police won't help you and the priests don't believe you, you call on Paul Prospero. You call on me. If you're a kid like Ethan, you're right. Plenty do. Ethan's letter started out just like any other fan mail. But soon there were mentions of things no little boy should know about. There are places that exist that very few people can see. Ethan could have drawn a map. I hadn't entered Red Creek Valley yet, but already I could feel its darkness reaching out for me. Finding Ethan Carter wasn't going to be as easy as knocking on his door. I was too late for that. To find Ethan, I had to figure out what this place was trying to hide from me. Oh, well, straight away, this fucking graphics are amazing, although I'm getting a bit of motion blur, I don't know if that's part of it. But these graphics are fucking insane. Holy shit. Alright, so I don't know have a clue what I'm doing here. I guess I'm following this train track. I won't lie, I wasn't listening to much of what that guy was saying then. I probably should have been listening, because I'd imagine that was important shit. But I heard about a map, so I guess I'm trying to find a map right now. Far out, man. This is some, like, actually amazing graphics. To not enter. Uh, we'll just ignore that real quick and pretend we didn't see it. Red Creek Valley. Seemed like a quiet, ordinary place. I've learned two things in my life. No place is truly quiet, and nowhere is really ordinary. Ethan warned me about that. Warned me not to be fooled by what I saw here. He didn't need to worry. I'd worked dozens of cases, hundreds. This would be my last one. Already I knew that. Ah. I don't know if I'm meant to keep walking when he talks, or I'm meant to stop because it's going to show me something, but let's just keep walking. Hmm. So I guess I'm a, de a detective, and I'm trying to find some clues to where this little Ethan lad has gotten off to. But, um, I'm pretty shit, because there's probably, like, heaps of shit back there I've just, like, walked past and not even paid attention to. But I'm still in awe of the graphics. That, that looks amazing. That's fucking cool, as. I don't think I, I could fall down here, right? No. Alright, there's a little trainee over here. I'm gonna see if I can fall down here. I, I, no, you can't. Alright. I don't know why, I just wanted to see if you could fall down this bridge. Oh, the music's ramping up. Oh, inspect. Now, how do I do that? Oh, okay. Easy. Blood animal cumin. Hmm. All questions that need to be answered. Crankshaft. Crank, 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 crank. Ah, cool. Enter. Q. 
Oh, what, this thing fucking still runs? It looks like it's from, like, 1912. Let's go. Oh, no. significance of this train I'm pretty sure it doesn't run like hmm no oh, I don't know what the fuck this does exit although I've got some clues though it's a bit of blood here oh am I meant to do this that there. At least I got a little bit of a clue. There was some blood. Whose blood? We don't know. Could have been an animal. Could have been a human. Could have been murder or an accident. We don't know. Alas. Let's continue down this track, I guess. Now, this is completely different to any type of game I've played before, so if I... If you're watching this and you're like, are you fucking retarded? It's probably because I am, because I never play anything like this. Plus, I wouldn't call myself a, de a detective, but... I have found a bit of rope. Untied. Cut ties. Tied. Hmm, interesting. No blood. Hmm. I don't know what that means, but... I guess we're gonna... Oh, now nah, here's some blood. Some shit went down here in a fucking grisly fashion. Rest of the corpse. Oh, what the fuck? It's like a leg, dude. Victor. There's two legs. Gross. That can't be Ethan, man. They look like adult legs. Severed legs. Alright, I don't know what I'm meant to do to severed legs. I guess I keep them there and... Something took the rest of his corpse, so let's uh, hunt down what did. Oh. Blood from Ooh, from the dead body, I imagine. Touch. Okay. Oh, I'm a medium, dude. Is a, I don't know. Is this is what I'm meant to be doing. I don't, I don't know. Not yet. Okay. Untouch. Uh, I don't understand what that means. I am touching him though, which is kind of weird. Ah. Well, there's a dead body. I guess someone should call the authorities. Or am I the authority, I guess? I don't know. I shouldn't be touching him, I don't reckon. Hmm. There's a few clues. I'm gonna have to inspect the shit out of this. Gasoline. Diesel fuel. Hmm. Dried grass. No shit flashbacks, yeah, yeah, we see that. Yeah, you obviously ran that dude over. Interesting. Now the crank's gonna come back into play. Jiggle pig. Ah, uh, there's a sign over here. Huh?
Am I... Oh, there's more rail stuff over there. Am I going the wrong way? Or am I meant to go back to the rail car and do something? Oh, okay, probably I meant to go through here. What oh, did say do not enter, and I guess this guy doesn't play by the rules. Creepy tree creaking. Could be a clue. This is fucking sick. This looks amazing, though. That's pretty cool. The graphics in this game are insane. What are you trying to tell me, tree? You know where Ethan's at? Oh, it's this tree. The trees. They talk to me. Maybe that's what I base my whole detective career around, is the trees speaking to me. So I don't go by the book, I get results. Listen to them, they're telling me things. to get around to these rail cars. What's this? What the hell is this? Is that meant to tell me something? Oh, wow. Chasing this motherfucker, man. He knows what's up, spaceman. Come back here. Mm -hmm. Teleporting bitch. What do you know? What do you know, goddammit? Where's Ethan? Where'd you go? There you are. Mm -hmm. Someone knows where Ethan is. It's this guy here, man. Fuck off, dude. Just let me catch you. Leading me to something, okay. I don't know, I should trust this guy. Spaceman! Is this interstellar? Is this like a wormhole? I think it is. Was this a bad decision to go on this thing? I think it might have been. Holy shit. fuck is going on? Uh, whale noise? 
pieces. What? What is happening? Am I stuck here forever? Did I fuck up by following Spacey? Fucking Kevin Spacey, what have you done to me? <laughs> I'm fu I don't know, I think I've lost the game. I think it's just... I'm trapped in fucking nowhere, dude. I'm in trapped back in like somewhere in the Milky Way by the looks of it. God damn. Oh, there you go. Read. Oh, I'm an idiot.